Hey, this is Mark Dennis with AeroWorks. I'm here at the 2011 Tucson Aerobatic Shootout with our new 52-inch Freestyle Extra 260. We've debuted it at the show and gave Flying Giants the exclusive preview on the airplane as you saw earlier in the week. We're very, very excited to finally get to show it to you guys. The airplane's been in development now for about a year and a half and we've really kept it pretty tight to the chest because we wanted to make it about as, as spectacular as we possibly could. And I'm very excited and I think it really turned out well. As you'll see, it's, a, it's an extra 260 with a few additions. We've changed the wing platform, changed the tail platform a little bit, so it still has those nice scale lines, but the airplane is a very exceptional freestyle flyer. We've added the side force generators, and not only at the wing tips, we've actually developed an inboard side force generator system that I'll show you here in a second. <clears throat> the other really cool features about the airplane, obviously, you know, you've got a two-piece wing on a carbon fiber wing and stab tube. It's, it's still the QB quality, so you've got all the, the quick build attributes to it. The airplane's pre-hinged with CA hinges, they're not glued, but it's, it's a simple six hour assembly for everything. The uh, control horns are pre-slotted, they're carbon fiber non-flex control horns. That's a new addition for the QBL line that's a little bit more rigid than the, the standard fiberglass phenolic horn. We've, um, we've updated that on this airplane and all the other QBL airplanes that you'll see from us here in the next year to two years will have those control horns integrated into them. The uh, canopy is a quick release canopy. We have one 90 degree turn latch here. You just pull it up, turn it off. Quick, easy battery access. It's all pre-done for you. You don't have to glue the canopy in place. It's all done, just like the regular QB airplanes. The um, cowling itself is pre-mounted. We've included plywood engine spacers that don't add any additional weight versus a nylon engine spacer, but what it does, it allows us to pre-mount the cowling for you. So now you don't have to guess where your cowling is going to wind up, how your, your canopy fit's going to be. It's all done at the factory. And that's what really kind of makes this airplane a QB, is all the, the pre-done features that, that we have been able to integrate into it really make the assembly easy for you. The side force generators, as you'll see, the two outer side force generators unscrew with four, 440 bolts. The inner side force generators slide forward and pop up. That's it. That's all it takes to remove them. So you can slide these wings into wing bags if you want to take them apart for transport to the field, or you can leave it attached and leave these on. It's a very strong, very lightweight attachment that we feel is going to work great. And it, throughout all the testing we've done on it, we have not had a single one of them come off. So it's done very, very well. The, um, the stab and rudder are airfoil, just like our bigger airplanes. So you get a nice full flying stab, full flying rudder. That way you, you've got a lot more control authority at lower speeds for 3D. The um, wing is a little bit larger than what it is on our larger 260s in scale. That increases the wing area. This has about a 560 square inch wing area, which really makes the airplane float. It's about 52 and a half ounces, and it's, it's just an incredible performer. We're powering it with the uh, Hacker A3012XL, and the power is, is just unbelievable. I've been really, really impressed with this airplane. And it's, it's very rare that I enjoy flying an airplane and don't want to give it back, and this has been one of those that I really don't like to take back into the shop after the weekends because I've had a lot of fun with it. And that's, uh, that's about it. We'll, uh, we'll be here for the rest of the weekend, and check us out at aeroworks.net. We will uh, have this airplane up there probably by the time this video is edited, and uh, check it out there. We'll have a flying video manual. That will all be posted here in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, guys.